Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, the Canarian. And uh, last time we managed to end that civil war and deal with all of those traitorous lords. And I set out that our plan is to integrate the northern lands here into our grand and prestigious empire. Um, and I was just having a quick look, see what we could do to just get started. And apparently if we do this, we should get quite a lot of Norway and that'll be a good start. They're in the middle of a little rebellion at the moment so it'll be it'll be a good way to deal with them. Let's just go straight for it I think. Um, we don't need mer you know those merchant ships. Um, maybe you know Goddard what the fuck are you for? You're like bloody useless. Anyway um, right okay so I am how many people can they raise? That's always important isn't it? Um, you can raise 800, so you're pretty weak. Um, yeah, you don't seem to have many things that you can do, so we are probably going to be just fine and, well, basically just obliterating you. So, Ireland. It's great that we can just randomly raise an army of Irishmen right here. And I think we're going to head for the capital. I'll divide up my forces there. We will also, I think, raise Scottish forces. Are these guys part of Norway? No, they're part of the Over Kingdom of Norja. We should probably see whether or not we can invade them. Um, I'm going to raise some Scottish forces. We'll need some ships to get them across, obviously. And the Scottish fleet is more than enough. We're going to drop them off. See, um, my empire at the moment is kind of looking like it's heading towards the point, very nice, very nice, um, heading towards the point of being, um, you know, I think, well, let's try and sort out a wife for, a wife, sorry, a husband for my daughter, yes, anyway, um, who do we want to be friends with? Should we try and be befriend, be uh, lingual failure? Befriend one of these people in the east. We could offer a betrothal. My daughter. Is it Gabriella? No, that's my sister. Um, someone who's just come of age. Mm, doesn't seem to be there. So wait a second. Who's our daughter again? Adela. You're already betrothed to... Ah, that's why. You're already betrothed to the... You know, empire dude. Um, Prince Guy, can we get someone married here? Arrange a betrothal to Prince Guy hates us. Um, no, let's, yeah, yeah, fuck you, Guy. If you hate us, then, you know, we don't need to give you a wife, eh? Smelly poo. Anyway, um, yeah. My ultimate plan has actually now become just Let's see how much of Europe we can conquer. Of course, when we transfer over to EU3, three, three, four, um, I'm not going to make it so we just have a vestigial empire of awesome power. I'm actually going to make it, probably make it so that in my mod, you know, such an empire would probably not be able to quite sustain itself, or at least if it did, it would, be, you know, become backwards. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to deal with that. But I like the way that the things in Europe are changing. Like, I like the, uh, Bogol... 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 Oh my god, I'm stuttering like a motherfucker at the moment. Bogomilist. Okay, I like the way the Bogomilists, um, overtook, took over South Italy. And, um, I find it interesting that Catholicism has gone so far east. Also, the division of Spain is interesting. And there's this, this horrible mashup is disgusting, but it could be quite fun. Um, oh look, a Norwegian Revolta. Um, Gabriella, my sister, married to Prince Edmund, who is your son. How old is he? 16, 18? Yeah, yeah, I'm absolutely fine with that, dude. Because you guys, your, your dad was, you know, 10 out of 10, absolute awesome person in helping us. So we'll train you up with Goddard, King of Ireland then, eh? 
Okay, the Scots are here. Let's... Um... Oh, that's... Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, we went to kill him, didn't we? Yeah, he, he deserves to be dead. I really did not like him one bit. And look, his air is much, much more, you know, positive. Okay, I, th I think by taking this, we'll essentially reduce Norway to being this strip of land up there. Which will be quite good, really. Um, France is fighting its own little civil wars. Is that getting any worse? Mm, I don't know. What is this? Is this this is still part of the the empire, isn't it? Yeah. French Revolt. Okay, that's all part of the same French Revolt. So they 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 look like they're dealing with that though. So I'm fine with that. That's good. Um. And it looks like we're going to be dealing with this fine. Quite a nice ending. To a very short war. Well, they didn't stand much of a chance. I mean, our empire is like Rome born again, but based in Engelland and, you know, conquering all these other places. I think, I think we will try and just make ourselves into a northern European empire. Kind of leave this part and Africa and... Southern bit, southern bits here alone, you know. Kind of aim to take over the northern coastline and all of this. That would be quite nice, actually. I think that that would be where we'll go. Whoa! Did our war end? Why did this war end? That that is quite annoying. What happened? What happened? One title can be created: the Duchy of. Liu. Um, I'm not particularly bothered by that. Um, his son is Prussian, so that's just a continuation of the Lithuanians, yeah. Um, anyway, is there an independence faction again? Who are you? Um, okay, so what are you? What title do you hold? Can we... I'd love it if you ended your plot. Or I could just assassinate you. Or I could... You know... I don't know. I, I have so many options. But none of them are the things I want to do. Okay. So, we're going to have to stand down our levies. That's an annoying delay in our strategy. Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on? Scottish Revolt. Um, that doesn't seem like a very strong revolt, so that seems like she'll crush that. Good. Keep order in the provinces. What is Ireland doing? Uh, they are claiming this tiny bit of land. Good for them. I like it. And let's stand down those levies we had. And find out what the hell happened. I know we can claim Norway, but we don't seem to be able to do it with these guys. Okay, you. You're Croven. Where are you? Liege is Downpatrick. Bishop Prick of Downpatrick. Okay. Can we work with him? Um. Where? Grant him the landed. No, I don't want to give him any of those. Hmm. That's annoying. That is quite annoying. Um. Can we still take one of the. Albany, Earl of Albany. Is it because you've joined the rebellion? No, nope. you still seem to be part of the uh, Earldom of Albany and the kingdom and all that. 
So I don't know why this war ended. So, um, should we try this again? Maybe it's a different dude, I don't know. But we will just, we're just gonna go there. And go and conquer it. Because there's no time to waste. There you go. Everyone's running about doing stuff. Good. Um, you want Raymond set free. Um, why? You're a peasant leader. I could banish you. That would be fine. Absolutely not. So he's banished. Good for him. I didn't like him anyway. Uh, marvelous technology. Invest in light infantry. And other than that, we're good. We're pretty golden. And there's that tiny little Norwegian fights going on again. How cute. We'll just walk on through, you know, as you do. And this this will be over. Um, I'm gonna I'm actually just gonna assault it because they've got enemy spies been captured. What kind of man are you? You're wrath. Yeah, behead him. Go ahead. Okay, and this one will be done with. Very easily dealt with. Um, didn't end the war, obviously. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to work at it, you know? Okay, so this one's going to take a little bit longer. It's because they've got all their levies, with, you know, within their castles. I'm assuming, yeah, she can raise a few more troops now that it's taken a little bit of time to recover. So we will simply have to, I don't know, we'll bring in, we could bring in the Polish. All the Lithuanians. I don't think the Polish quite have the fleet to uh, raise, though. Lithuanians don't have one either that is of any substance. Substance. I can speak English. Um, I don't know why it says I can't walk all the way over there. Of course I can. Um, so we'll send the Polish army over there. They should be able to do some damage. I would use the French, but it's kind of wholly inappropriate time to use the French army. And we'll come and unite all these forces. Lots of people doing lots of things. Good for them, good for them. Bit of scheming keeps the realm alive. Goodness me, I'm losing track of these internal wars now. Um, Sardinian claim. On Caligari. Um, Waldenesian. Um, our, our anti clerical and advocate return to vows of poverty. They are opposed to capital punishment and believe the layman can also administer the sacraments. This heresy has no formal head and no special game mechanics. Now, if we wanted to cause ourselves problems, we could change that. But let's think about it. Would. Would he change? Um. He's a craven, he's ambitious, he's temperate, kind, diligent. Hmm. It would be interesting. But I'm currently leading a realm that's massive, so just for the moment, I'm going to... You know. I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to not convert him. I'm just going to release him. Okay, good. Um, and we need you to be educated properly. We're going to educate you with Al Odonio, I think it was. Um, and you are... Yeah, you've got Albert there. Research cultural tech. Marvellous. And... Wait a moment. Another rebellion in Scotland. 
so why is this? War for seniority. That's against the tyranny of King Queen Lan. I'm going to off to join your war. No, no, apparently I can't. Okay, so that's sad. Um, I'll send you a gift. Send you some money to help you keep fighting that war. Make your life easier. There we go. Okay, and that, they'll get there eventually. So we've captured one of them. Um, how can I speed up this war? Where would it be good to go? So, the Queen, where is she residing? She's currently residing in Hustadir. Uh, my cynical comments. Yep, I've done things. My uh, pence have ridden up in the Santok, uh, blasted traitors. They are traitors, of course they are. Hustadin, is that Hustad? Yeah, Hustadir. So, she's apparently there, where we've captured her, we're just kind of letting her get on with it. For whatever reason. Is the Polish revolt finally over? Nope. The Polish revolt will never be over. Um. Yeah, that's a problem. We'll send the Lithuanians to deal with it. Uh, a Jewish exile fling persecution uh, has showed up at your court. Is gifted him with many connections. Okay, indeed, we'll you know, allow him. I don't see why not. Marvelous Prince Guy got everything he wants. There seems to be quite a lot of rebellions going on at the moment. Maybe it's probably, actually, it just seems to be in Scotland. It's probably because of the new order which I imposed. It happens, you know. you got to deal with it. Um, That Norwegian army would be good to crush, but I'm more concerned with actually finishing this war. Um, a Lope of Huesca. Why would it... Go away. Anyway, uh, ah, the queen is pregnant. How how old are we? 37. This is like the end of our breeding time. Uh, Raimundo's heart is filled with envy. Talk to him about kindness. Ah, he's, he's become kind. Fantastic. Oh yeah, you're going to become English, aren't you? That would be great. Um, oh dear. Did Scotland just get another rebellion? Yep. As you can see, three separate rebellions against the Queen. Yeah, she's she's not in a good place. Ooh, well. Um, well, may the best rebellion win, I guess. I did try and I did try and help. I tried to make it so that it worked, but you know they didn't want it to work. So who was I to deny them? Okay, I think if we crush this army, that might help us end the war. It'll be over in a jiffy. Good luck with whatever you're doing. And army crushed. Not properly crushed. Let's go crush them. Uh, my son Richard does his homework. Ah, he's a good mentor, yes. Compliment myself. I'm amazing. Hopefully, we're, you know, there's not too much of an enemy left. Because it would be quite nice to deal with them sooner rather than later. Especially, ah, oh, we're not even going to be able to deal with this in this video. Oh well, um, I guess what I'll have to do is next time we'll finish it off. Um, try to make me appoint one of her male friends. Um, who might mean more to her than I earlier suspected. Steward. It's the steward. Our current steward, Adam de Newberg, does his job. I need to decide whether I should make... Hmm. Your decision upsets her. Hmm. 
Yeah, you're not gonna tell me what to do. You're not gonna tell me what to do anyway. I'm I'm my own man. Ugh. Okay, so that siege is done. I'm gonna pause here. We will continue this next time, and <laughs> at which point we will have a sizable chunk of Norway. We can start maybe looking at Denmark and some of these other smaller territories, and. You know, we can start thinking about how we can move on to our further conquests in Livonia, I think as it's called at the moment. Wend... is it... what is it? Is it Wend... Wendland? Yeah, it's just Wendland. This small territory here, and the northern coast of the Holy Roman Empire. One day soon we do have to sort out Spain and Portugal, I have to admit. It is a little bit of a clusterfuck down there. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, leave a like or a comment. Also, share this video as it really helps out the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have fun.